What is up, everyone? It is a toy time. Mood. It is Wednesday night. Uh, this is uh, this is how we do episode one sixty six. Uh, I'm your host for the evening, Bobby Bear. With me, as always, KJ, Tony, and Zen. What is up, y'all? What's up, neighbors? How you doing, guys? Yo. So we it's it's been one of those weeks where we don't get we haven't gotten a lot of news, but we've gotten a good chunk of news, uh, right. and. As I'm saying that, I totally forgot to do the Star Wars stuff. So, oh well, we'll do that. We'll do that at a later time. Um, <clears throat> that being said, um, gentlemen, how are we? I'll let, I'll I'll, uh, I'll do I'll go KJ first. I'll go around the I'll go round I'll go around the horn. KJ, you I'm first. I'm good, man. I'm go around I'm the good. horn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pardon the interruption. No, um, no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got figs in hand. Um, shooting, editing, and just gonna start uh, putting a lot of stuff up. It's been a long time coming. I'm excited about these um, these Run DMC figures I got. They were on sale, so nice. That's just just to start things off a little bit. There we go. Nice, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. What is it, buddy? Oh man, that man just, you know, I told you I was had some time on my hands. Unfortunate, but making the most of it. Dropped a couple videos. One's on its way uh the 19th and then one the 27th. We'll finish up the Vietnam Lurp team on my channel. Um which is beautiful by the way. It is. Thank you. Yeah, just been <clears throat> waiting to close those out. The last one with Wade Collins is uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a little doozy. It's like the longest one, but just having fun making them and looking for some more content. It's coming out pretty soon. Awesome. Nice. And Zen finally, buddy, how you doing? I'm all right, man. I mean, I'm good looking. I'm here to rock. You know what I mean? I did all my chores. My mom <laughs> said I can hang out with you guys tonight. All so right. I'm good. Solid, well, man. We had a fun Mow week. The lawn. Some cool drops this week, right? I, I I have to admit, uh, Zen, your first episode hosting two weeks ago uh, was an absolute godsend to me uh, because uh, tragedy destroyed my family, and that was the first time in about three days I actually laughed. That's awesome, man. This show got me laughing, and it, and I didn't. Because I laughed that day, about like, I'm like, oh, I felt guilty. But that, that was the first time where I actually watched something and laughed and for the first time forgot that I was sad. So thank y'all. When we say a toy kind of mood is a family, fuck you mean that shit. God damn it, kid. <laughs> I don't have friends. I don't have friends. I have family. Yeah, you know what? They did not it's know not, I was wearing that shirt. They did not know I was wearing a Fast and Furious shirt. So it's, it, not. <laughs> it's not. It's not too often I like uh, guys throwing the F word at me like that, but that's pretty good. That was good. <laughs> that's a good <laughs> one. Thank you, Vin Genghis. Um, Okay. Now, uh, real quick, uh, have y'all watched Fallout and or are y'all watching X-Men 97? Because those are both so good. I plan on watching both of those right now. Just being grind mode right now. Grind away, man, my friend. All right, so <clears throat> let's jump into NECA and uh, Holothon. Um, that spec is 100% right here. Uh, Fallout was, is, was, because we finished it too. Uh, amazing. Um, you know what? You know what? Before we go to ne uh, Holothon, let's, let me pull a Travis and go through the comments. Real quick, we got Chad. We've got this dude. I don't know what the hell Tony's Feigs. I don't know what that's about, but you know, what is up, Stanley? Pack it up, pack it in. Let's begin. Let's do this. Uh, Lazy ass. Oh, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rat Dead Rich. Um, let's see here. Who ah. else we've got? We got Ryan Daly. What's up, buddy? What's up? Uh, we have got Justin Booth, Bienvenidos. Uh, we've got Todd C. Of course, I love our loyal followers. It's it's like oh, we actually have fans. It's always weird. 
Um, <laughs> uh, this was not as strong as last, but how could it be? Last week was was amazing. Okay. However, I will say the ending to this one. Both they just and and the showrunner said that they're still not. We still haven't gotten the biggest episode. I'm like, all, all right. right, all right. Walker Walter Goggins is and always will be amazing. Uh, what's up, look? Liquid identity, but you know what? Just show up when you can. You know, yeah. There's, there's no lateness with us, man. Not at all. No. Oh, Gum Bunny. Thank you so much, my friend. I did get my uh my uh Fortnite motorboat from you. Thank you so much. My wife was like, "What did you buy this time?" I was like, oh my God. No, 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 no. I didn't buy it this time. I didn't buy it this time. <laughs> she looked at you and said, "You motorboat and son of a bitch." Oh, um, who else we got here? Um, oh, Frank, here you somebody. It's good to see you too. Um, I am glad to hear this because if I heard Walter Goggins was a asshole, I'd be very disenchanted. Oh, what's up, John? <laughs> okay, now, uh, NECA Holothon. Uh, so I know, uh, it okay, so let's just, I didn't, I did not include Hello Kitty. You know what, Spec? Oh, if you're one of your then get on the goddamn show. Just saying. Walton. Oh. Walton. Walton. There we go. And then, of course, we got the meme master himself. Uh, Chaz. Guru. There we go. Uh, and then just, just for preference, I did not include Hello Kitty. If that's upsetting, I apologize. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Baldy forgive you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Baldi's like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we jump into the Ninja Turtles. Uh, quick question: Are any of y'all collecting these Ninja Turtle? This Ninja Turtle line. This is the Mirage, uh, comic book, uh, lineup. Uh, are any of y'all collecting this? I say I'm not, but I, if R Renette Renette is still there in the collector spot, the Target, and I'm like. Should I get her? And now I see Baxter Stockman there, and I see the other ones, and they'll go with my knockoffs because that splinter goes with my knockoffs ex extremely well. So I might pick up a few here and there, but oh, whoa, wait a minute, that big what's that big uh Triceraton? Oh yes. my god, he's he a big chunky dude, man. He looks really cool, and that's when I was uh, um in deep uh, TMNT with the black and white comics, the Eastman yes. Lairds. That's when they fought them. That was that was a great book, but I have not picked it up yet. Um, now, just just so in case anyone has hasn't read it yet, the last run and the figures are coming out, and we are getting a live action. That of course. I'm interested to see. Although uh, Walter Hamada is involved, and he did Justice League with DC, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, these actually look really cool. Um, I don't get this uh, this lineup, but these do look cool. And I just to play devil's advocate, I wonder how they line up against GI Joe. Hmm. Comicy, comicy. You know, we'll see. Now, here's the thing. I will say, yes, these are kind of on the pricey side. It is neck up, uh, but. Look at all the stuff you get. Jeez. Like, that's not bad. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of reuse in there, too. If, uh, you know, if the price is right and uh, yeah. you want to customize, update some of the, the characters' uh, weapons, that's what you, you know what's funny. When you're a G.I. Joe fan, that's what you do. You look at some of these lines and go, I could use that for that. I could use yeah. that for that. Will it uh, joke? You know what I mean? It, it's easily uh, you. You always have that eye to kind of customize. But these are kind of cool looking. I mean, I, I kind of like that. It's it's almost like a cell shading, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, so, oh yeah. If you they, like they, that they, stylized they, look. Yeah, the little comic book minute little shading yeah. here, and here and there. Yeah, we got. Oh yeah, got comic. comic. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it just walked out of a comic book. Yeah. yeah. KJ, you going to say something? Say something no, that's, it's just, if you're going to get these, get them while you can, because otherwise you'll have to deal with the, the NECA vault, 
or going on eBay where this stuff just skyrockets. I love aliens. Um, Big Bad Toy Store was able to have the Queen Alien on sale, but I couldn't get that Ripley and that Power Loader. So, yeah, just like if it Joe's, you know, go for it. Otherwise, yeah, um, sooner or later, it's going to pop up on the aftermarket. So if you're curious, oh, I say check it out. Yeah. And then we got, well, speaking of uh, thick and chunky, like I'm chunky. Like I, <laughs> I, 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 this is. Wow. I, here's I, the thing. It's I, cool. I, like, yeah, it? That's cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like the henchman you don't want to F with. You know what yeah. I mean? That's the henchman that, like, before he gets to the final boss, he's like, it's a boss. So, like, oh, God, yeah. God. Fine, I'll use like, like, all, all these skinny foot soldiers. Just sit down. <laughs> I'll take I, care of it. <laughs> I got this. I'm like, oh, like, that's why all the health packs are outside. God damn it. All right. Let's get into this. Um, These are cool. These are kind <laughs> of fun. <laughs> what uh, are these hip hop turtles? Yeah. Yeah. I've got, so look, I've got two of the four packs i've got the 2016 san diego exclusive and i've got the like trench coat mafia type turtles you know <laughs> dude i love everything about these look at look at the sneakers like you know mikey's a sneaker head right like you know he's not going out there in like trash shoes uh these look dope um i i didn't get the i don't get the i I don't know why they did the the Mohawks, but um, <laughs> how are we feeling about the the punk turtles? Well, that that's exactly why they did the Mohawks. You know what I mean? Just yeah. for that that punk look. Uh, yeah. yeah, these things are badass. Uh, you guys know through our chat that um, I had these in hand, and uh, they were very cool looking. Um, I picked it up for a buddy who found it locally so i took it back to target for another collector to get but um they're they're a lot of fun i can't dive into the rabbit hole or into the sewer hole of yeah. another another line you know what i mean yeah. uh but they are very cool looking that is very true like look, look at this god is like god damn it and you know you can just pop, pop off the heads you know to, with your other stuff it's like ah. Uh. Um, and that was really about it for NECA, uh, for NECA, uh, Holothon. Yeah. Um, am I like, it was kind of, was it me? Was it kind of, I don't know, empty? Not Maybe. empty. It's just who, if you, about that stuff and the lines that NECA has, the turtles, gargoyles, whatever, then you're loving this stuff. I mean, otherwise it's, at, at this point with turtles, it's hard to jump in. Like you're talking, you know, last Ronin, that's you know, a franchise on top of a franchise on top of a franchise. It's like inception. Like you really have to be in deep. That is very true. That is a hundred percent true. Um, I'm there we go. Trying to bring up Bobby uh, checking in. Hey, like one of those these battlegrounds for real. Uh oh, whoops, I forgot. Um that uh now Quick, quick, quick little thing. I did forget to pull these up. I don't think anyone here would actually like want them, anyways. Uh, McFarlane is now doing the Shazam movie for some the reason. Shazam yeah. Saw that with the two pack. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they're releasing Mary Marvel as well for a movie that bombed. And look, I I like that two pack. I like uh, uh <laughs> I don't know, but for a movie that bombed. Uh. <laughs> Why? Like, KJ, talking to you, why? I think people, um, I I mean, people are, if you're a fan of the characters, I love the first Shazam movie. So, Same. the first one's cool, yeah. Yeah. So, for me, it, you know, I thought it was really cool that, um, like, at the end of the first movie, he shares the power. Spoiler alert. But he shares his powers, and then they're all superheroes. Like, yeah. I love that message. And the yeah. second movie, either I don't know, it's, it's it was a movie that was kind of made for its own sake, 
Yeah. But, you know, it's I'm sure it has its fans. So now we got the figures. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think it I think it'll have a cult following. The the second movie's not as bad as everybody is making it out to be. Um it, it's kind of a fun watch. It does its job. It's in line with like the Marvels. Do you know what I mean? Where it, it's uh, still it's a fun popcorn movie. It's a comic book movie. Okay. I, I want to see. I just, I just want to see the Megan Good one. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. I will. Smoking, say this. It's just smoking hot, dude. <laughs> hey, I, you know uh, I talking about, I KJ. You know who I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about, man. Um, Megan, I can Megan pull up that. Um, I can pull up that two pack while we're talking about it. Sure. Yeah. Um, because I will say this. I, I tried watching Aquaman two. Uh, about a month and a half ago, and yeah. I got maybe an hour in. It's and my wife, hard. my wife wasn't even watching it. She was like listening to it, and she's like, "What the f- are you listening to?" I'm like, <laughs> "Aquaman too." You said we could. You said you'd be fine watching it. I'm like, it's "Like, yeah." Can you change that shit now? Can we watch something better? I'm like, <laughs> "Sure." I'm like, "I'll watch it." I'm like, "I'll watch it." When, look, my wife will put up with a lot of my movies. Right? She, we will go. You know, but oh, it was just wow. It's it's because there's such a huge shift from the first Aquaman to this one, where like off Arthur doesn't want to be king. You're like, but that's, oh, whiny that's baby. Awesome. He was whiny cry baby. Yeah, it's like it's like oh, like you know, like ah, okay. Um, I like the yeah. movie, though. <laughs> it was just it was just yeah. I well, I, I couldn't get movie through movie the first one. Huh? I I could not get through the first one. I watched oh, really? it. Now. I, I gave it. I gave it a chance. I just no. Nope. Momoa isn't my Aquaman. I mean, Aquaman. My Aquaman looks like Ocean Master. <laughs> that's <laughs> I, mean, cool, I think man. that's why they cast him as right. Ocean Master. Well, he right. he was actually a lot of fun as as the character, and he's actually Wilson? kind of a funny dude. But um, the yeah, story Wilson's just cool. Wasn't good. I forgot his first name. Uh, Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. Patrick. Yeah, Patrick Wilson. He was. Well, he was a uh, owl. Owl man. No. Uh, owl man. Yeah. And that's yeah. That's he's just, like I was talking to a buddy of mine. I, I liked Momoa as Aquaman. Like the look. Because like, there's one person that <laughs> I'm reading spec. <laughs> <laughs> like, look. Ugh. Technically Nancy, speaking, Nancy. right. Aquaman should look like an islander. He should look like a, like a, like like a, like someone like Momoa. That made perfect sense. Um, but you, yeah. but, but watching Aquaman too, I'm like, oh, Patrick Wilson is fucking Arthur, Arthur Curry. Yeah. Like this is like like the, uh, he's right there. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because you know the movie's gone and Momoa is like gonna be Lobo. So it doesn't matter. But that's but, better. Yeah, and he's much more Lobo. He's much more Lobo. Um. Yes. Also, by the way, Gulf Kulsh by Twisted X out in Dripping Springs. Brilliant. Brilliant. That is my nice. beer of the night. All right. Um, Dripping Momo from the get-go. Yeah, I don't... Yes, yes, Frank, I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's just... Uh, bad gun? Just, I don't, I don't, okay. Regardless. Regardless <laughs> of all that bullshit, we're going to go now right, to... Frank. We're going to now go to KJ's favorite figure <laughs> yeah. right. loved it. <laughs> all right this is, this is from kj the, the I, <laughs> like kj so like you can just feel kj's like annoyance at this figure because <laughs> kj kj you know what buddy you take you take over tell us why you want this figure so badly all right, I want this figure so I can show people what not to do when adapting um, an ex- an expressive, charismatic, um, animated film like this. Like when I went to go see Across the Spider Verse, Spider Verse Two, um, when I came out the theater, I immediately bought another ticket. I have never, yes, McFly is right. Yeah, I had to, I had to resurrect this <laughs> again. But I, I hadn't done that since X2, X-Men United 20 years ago. Like, that's how much I love this film. And on my Black Ingus on Instagram, I talked about all the different releases from 
across the Spider-Verse, where you have Moth X, Sentinel, um, SH Figure Arts, even the Marvel Legends head sculpt, right? Which is re relatively bargain basement, grocery store figs. Like even that Marvel Legends head sculpt is better than this. It's just this inert, this. <laughs> right? Like there's like there's no personality. There's no, you know. I mean, I guess like what um in the IGN review of the video game, um the reviewer <laughs> was black. He was like, Yeah, he's got the exaggerated swagger of a black team, you know, like Miles Morales, he listens to Biggie and Pac, he listens to um Sway Lee and Metro Boomin. Like not this Miles. <laughs> This this Miles listens to Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> like that's what this Miles listens to. This is the Jack if Harlow. you want to buy me flowers, just go ahead. Now that's what this dude's listening to. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Don't knock the spin doc. Oh, I'm not gonna right see them this <laughs> <summer>. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. The point is, uh -oh. the point is when you look at some of the other brands, they're just doing way more with um that character. Um, in fact, if I can give myself a little self plug, if that's all right, by all yeah. means. Stop yeah. messing with Woody, man. Goddamn. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to uh, Black Genghis's neighborhood. Well, hello, everybody. Well, hello, right. hello. So yeah, we got this, and it's soft goods. Um, with photographers, if you already have <laughs> the SHF, um, the texturing. It's just out of this world. Like it's it's worth the dough. And the head sculpts, like that's what I mean by swagger. That's what I mean by character, personality, right? And just the inner life being communicated through the sculpts. Even with Marvel Legends, it's like, and it's crazy. Marvel Legends twenty four ninety nine. When this shit sells out, it becomes forty bucks, fifty bucks, right? So I'm like, okay, sure. But even with that, the light is playing with. Like the hard plastic of the figure. When you have soft goods, you lose a little bit of that in translation. Once again, with Moffex, we see it again with the webbing, the texturing, right? There's just this, you know, like the he's thinking. There's gears turning, yeah. you know, in that head of Miles. He's thinking. He's a thinker. And yeah, I get it. Like, and even with the Sentinel, right? You have the wow. figure, and then you have soft goods with it. Not pictured here, but you can check those out later, right? So this is just like, just really, this is like the kind of thing you would get from like play school uh -oh. or like the kitty figs. <laughs> like when you don't want to like upset small really? children or like give them like a really? DreamWorks really? smirk or something like that. And so you have this, you can go with this <laughs> or you can go with that. I think I'll go with this because this is where it's at. Sentinel. Right? Engine, engine number nine on the New York Transit line. The SHF look great. Yeah. It was yeah. badass. And with right the soft the movie, goods on right. the Mezco, it's going to play with that light different than the texturing you get on SHF or MoffX or even Sentinel or even the damn Marvel Legends figure. Sure. So it's just for if you already have a ton of Mezco Spider-Man, then here's your Mezco Miles, right? If all the releases that Mezco does, Bartholomew Vex, Vapor, whatnot, they're dripping with personality. Yeah. Like Miles Morales should have been a home run. We should yeah. have five damn expressive as hell head sculpts with this Mesco figure. And we just... Yeah, it, it's awful. <laughs> so, whoever did that Toy Story one, I mean, that side-by-side, -side, <laughs> that, that's hysterical, man. I mean, it's not wrong. I know that's Specs' favorite uh, with uh, <laughs> that one. Um, but here's... And, and KJ, going back, going kind of to your uh, point about expression, why is it the mask has more expression than the face? Because it's just easier to do. Oh, no, I know, but like you would think they, I know it's easier, but I was like, wait, this is the face of your franchise. Yeah. You, should, you know, and also, uh, I do like, I do like the webbing. That's cool. But also, um, that's cool. Don't get it wrong. Uh, why has he got, why has he got COVID around his head? <laughs> That's not COVID. I mean, it kind of looks like COVID. It, they they COVID. tried to it here. Like, if it was, was can awesome. of beams or a third party, like, they would have found a way yeah, to make that, that just translucent. Like, you can get third party translucent spider sense effects. So, I don't know yeah, why yeah. Mesco can went with, Shout out, can of beams. with the corona effects. Like, I, I, was, I, was seeing these, I was seeing the pictures. I was like, 
Why is it like he has a giant virus like attached to his what head? He got coronavirus like, in his head. It looks it oh, looks like yeah. like yeah. it just uh like and even even oh I can't highlight this, but even both like normal head sculpts is like there's zero. there's only one normal head sculpt because there's four interchangeable head pit portraits. So that's oh, just no. a okay. that's just a riddle of one. Yeah, next to it. Uh, okay, that's the yeah, one you won't have on him. <laughs> they they may the want it to headlight. look like you're getting five instead of four, but whatever. It's a EWH in the house. It, it's what a weird WH. follow up when when that Sentinel one was so good. You know Sentinel I mean? one was awesome. And I have the Sentinel one. I don't get too much Mezco stuff. Actually, very little. And uh, I definitely would not dive in with this. No, I do not. Like I won't like I don't do Mezco just because. Kind of like, and I think it's what what something that KJ said. I don't like the soft goods. Like a whole, like the whole, like my game, like my my Mofex, like the Gambit trench coat. That's cool, but you still have like the plastic underneath. It still kind of like pops on it, and I don't know. This just looks. It's it's gonna have its fans, but it's like if you're really deep into the Mezco brand, you're not dealing with the other import lines. Then this is gonna be their premium Miles Morales, you know. So I don't want to take away from people who are fans of Mezco 112 and everything like that. For me, as a fan of the character, I expect better. And, and, character, right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. And and you know what? 90% of that is, I get it. Yep. Is, a, is a great figure. 90% of it. Yeah. It's that, it's that head, and that takes it away from somebody, like, diving in for it. Like, I won't lie, like, the two normal head sculpts, and actually, I, I, yeah. I'll just do a spec. The, the, the mask half up. That's not a. That's not a bad. That's for me. Not that's not that bad. It's not like you know terrifying. Whereas you know this one is going to come to life and eat my soul. Like, like <laughs> this is like, hello. Want to play a game? <laughs> do you blink? No, I don't blink. <laughs> right. Like, now that's that's something you see in Carol Ann's room. You know what I mean? In yeah. Poltergeist. Yeah, I mean I got no skin in the Mezco game, but I get it what you guys are saying. This one when you when when Mezco, Mezco, the, the 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 top dog is bringing stuff like this, and then you see Sentinel and it you know SHF Grigorar. It's oh my god, just just leave the mask oh. head on. <laughs> Exactly. Like going back to like KJ's, you know, the, the to Black Angus's uh, Instagram. Like, there are so many others. That, like, it's just like, but I, swear, I think it's just like the eyelids. Like the eyelids. Like, there's no. It's like, who has eyes like that? Like puppy dog. It's like, blink, blink if you're okay, Miles. And obviously he's not. <laughs> he can never blink. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was just. Oh God. Sorry, Miles. Uh, but I will say, I will say, I do like, like, everything, like, he comes with is cool. Like, all the, the webbing, like, the fact that he's using, like, three off through webs, it's cool. Um, but, oof. Yeah, when, when this came out, Chad was like, dude, <laughs> you need to have KJ. Well, here's the thing, here's the thing, because it is a render, right? This, I know, it's either the, the earliest version of the physical figure, or it's not even a physical figure. It's all computer generated i'm not sure right. i don't care because they're usually close enough that this is a good enough representation of what the mesco figure oh, will oh, be unless they change tack yeah. yeah fair um fair and um also <clears throat> just like i've held this the, the the spidey peter parker like amazing spider-man mesco in my hand and it's it is cool i have their butts uh but it's so tiny that what you're getting for what you pay for for me that's why i don't do mezco like it's just it just felt nope. like like this is, this is so tiny i want to break this um okay that being said i think we're all passing on that mezco figure sorry fabio uh for that sorry, Fab um Fab 360. um now the reason why i'm wearing boom this shirt is because the main event is. Look at Frank talking shit. The classified line is dead. Shut up, Frank. 
<laughs> 85 years. Woohoo. So 85. I I forgot to put something on here. Sorry, Travis. Um they re they re-released the Kingpin uh Marvel Legends. Yes. I got him. Like that, I, I had to on the classic spider card stock. He was going for like 80, 90 bucks on the secondary yeah. market. And the fact that, yeah, here you go. I'm like, oh, thank God. So awesome. So I mean, awesome. you can still get it at a pretty good price. So, for example, if I were to go to Amazon right now and collect it, it would be $294.99. That's not too oh bad, God. right? What, the for Kingpin? Ten? Yeah. I've got the miles look. Nah, man. I wouldn't. I I'll, no, I'll, listen. I'll, that's I'll not a good my, price. I guess I'll stick with my white hey, suit one. That's, not, like, a that's price, not a good man. price, man. No, no, that's that's a terrible price. I'm two seventy five. <laughs> Don't pay more than two seventy five. Oh. Got it. Got it. Um. Okay. So. So. Oh my God. All right. Hold on a second. Can I? I gotta. I gotta show you guys this, and then I'll, I'll be be right back. I just want. I'm gonna show you guys this. What is, y'all? It's this is a harsh game we play. The game is harsh. A hundred and five bucks free shipping. A hundred and ninety for Kingpin, evil. Rhino, and Lizard. It's evil like bay. thank goodness for the restocks when you can get them. When you can get them, do exactly that. It's like, yeah. come on, man, Oof. man, come on. Eighty for premium. What is lizards? Fetus? Even this a even this AI chick couldn't get me to spend that kind of money on this Spider Man. <laughs> no head for fifty right? bucks. The coat by itself. The head right bucks plus plus. All right, that's enough. Uh, I think the lizard was bundled with the rhino and kingpin for one ninety. Zen, so there you go, buddy. Ah, Joe fix it is forty four bucks, forty five bucks. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Why are everybody? Chasing some of these figures like that, <laughs> I, it's nuts. I grabbed King, uh, so I have most of uh, most of the retro Spider Man line, and I did miss Kingpin. Um, so it was nice that that came back in. There's that rumor going around that there, there was a container found. I don't know if that's true or not, but interesting. A container in Baltimore. Sorry. Nah, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. There's still containers on that thing. That told me. It. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I, yeah. So, the Kingpin, uh, is it still up on Pulse? I think it sold out. It sold out again. Yeah. No, it oh, sold yeah. out fast. Yeah. Yeah. It sold out fast. Um, but I'll we'll stick with the white. This one. We got, uh, Legend, regular giant size man, and and the wasp for the 60th anniversary. Um, you know, I didn't pre-order this set, but god damn it, Marvel kicked my ass on this. How, uh, Zen, how are we feeling about this uh, two pack, buddy? I freaking love it. It's not bad at all. You know what I was surprised about, though, is it is not a pre-order. Um, yep. Mine already shipped. Wow, yeah, really? Nice. Yeah, mine's already, it, it's in transit. It should probably be here tomorrow or something. Let me ask you, do you prefer that? Because I think I've had it with this pre-order hype. Like, let me know when it's available and be like, yo, you can get this now. I think I like that. Right, Guys, we could do a yeah. whole stream on that alone because that is what makes McFarlane look like a freaking genius. Right? True. He announces okay. the stuff. He announces the stuff as soon as That's he's it. got it ready to go. So <laughs> yeah. it, it's uh, there. there is no pre-order there. Uh, I think the pre-order thing, I don't know. I think it's dumb for the most part. Like, do the surprise drop like this. Like, that That was a nice surprise drop. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go, and people can get it. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, we're out of COVID now. You don't, yeah. need, you don't need to do the pre-order thing as much. It, it shouldn't be the norm. True. Yeah, that's fair. 
Now you're That's pretty cool. much done with the classic 60s Avengers. I mean, and I I I will eventually probably get this just because I didn't get Giant Man that has up. I can get this Giant yeah. Man. Same here. And then I'll be and, and that that's why I got it because I got the the giant man. I just don't. I, I'm not a fan of the conehead wasp, but that's her back in the day. So, yep. and then you can put the regular non conehead communicator, you know, head yeah. on in your yeah. You could just rock Janet like that and look at that. That's all day. And there's get get your Thor. Get your uh, is this when Iron Man was in the big yellow? Yes. Stand? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you know get your cap. Get your, you know, um, I don't know what else. Oh, uh, the classics. I mean, all the 60th anniversary stuff that we got. Hawkeye. Yep. The yep. Hawkeye on the, on the sky side there. with the rock. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like what they're doing. I think it's it's a neat um thing for the, the fans Hulk. that like the 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 original retro stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, the Hulk. The Hulk will go in this team for it for it for one issue. <laughs> I gotta say, the this two pack. Looks so good, it makes me wish I bought the Haslab. I know. That's like the first time I can say that. I know. Look at that. Look at that. The the lab coat. Like it's just, it's so good. The tiny like little scale it's like twin twin jet. He comes with his little toy. It's adorable. It's so <laughs> cute. I guess it's like a monopoly so piece. Cute. You're adorable, Hank Pym, when you're not beating your wife. <laughs> You're not oh, beating it. Oh, too soon, too soon. No, sorry. I haven't beaten it for years. <laughs> sorry, Dude, oh. sorry, my <laughs> adult. This is an adult collector stream. Thank you. That is true. <laughs> Spouse abuse, not even once. Um, that's up, Jeremy. Okay, okay, so now we get to oh, yes, I will me back in KJ. They're pulling me back in. Who are you telling, man? They call me Black Genghis for a reason, because I collect all of these, and I have to stop. I'm still I'm still cherry. Go ahead. I'm still cherry picking, but I'll tell you later. When I saw that Luke Cage, my first instinct was, man, Cage is going to be pissed that they released this <laughs> that shitty one, but he's going to get it. He's going to get it, but he's going to be I mean, pissed. I still haven't gotten that Power Man, which I'm floored by. Like, I'm still trying to figure out how to give it uh, ab crunch, right? Because I had to basically carve either create my own fucking ab crunch for that figure, or mm. I had to like find a way to like put the overlay on a different black torso figure. But it's a project for that power man. This no notes, give it, give me that. That yeah. is a killer version of Roadblock. I freaking love it. Stop it, stop it. Will it Joe? I mean, Will it Joe? <laughs> <laughs> That's roadblock. This, this guy will tower over roadblock. <laughs> this guy will smash roadblock through the road. <laughs> well, the character mm. would for sure, but yeah, but not his awesome. shelf. I mean, just think. I mean, repaint that yellow shirt black, and then you have a black shirt version, a yellow shirt version. Yeah, but that's uh, I'm not mad at that because I mean, even though the uh, that old Power Man with all its faults, I mean, to have him on the shelf next to this badass Iron Fist, there yeah. you go, there's your 70s Power Man and Iron Fist, and then with this street, yeah. you know, new that. Avengers almost modern one, can't go wrong, dude. Look at Chef's Kiss right here, both of them. I'm yeah. digging them. Yeah. Uh, these are in my cherry picking, they're yeah. getting picked. I'm pissed that it's a two pack, but it makes sense because it's it's the two of the the best friends in comic book history right here. Right, and he's here. been. He, I'm sorry, he's been in. Uh, Danny's been in that costume, and, and while he stayed in it, Luke has changed. He's changed, mm -hmm. come back and change, and come back and change, and come back. And then you know they had Danny in the track, that cool like track suit when he fought Electra. Ooh, that 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 book was crazy. Their fight was insane, but I digress. But this is yeah. a this is a badass, and it's a two pack, right? It's a two pack, yes. Definitely picking it up. You know, I'm my Marvel Knights, baby. Definitely, yeah, exactly. Must have, must have for me. Uh, these, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get these. Uh, Scar, I'm gonna pass. It's a great figure. He looks amazing. Same here. Uh, but I probably will pass unless you know I get like unless I do like an insane clearance sale. Like, all right, fine, but. Mm. 
Well, you that's know how they he, get us, Bobby, right? That's how they get us with that. He looks like he uh, he came off. He, the, he he looks like he came off the cover of a heavy metal magazine from the eighties. Yeah, you know, what I mean, he, they killed it with this figure. I'm not a fan of of the character, but I yeah, I don't. Like that's a killer movie. looking. That's like Conan meets Hulk. They did a. They did a bad. Uh, Marvel. Oh, sorry about that. No, they looked really. It looked really good. That's all. I'm saying. Yeah. I have the Marvel Select Gladiator Hulk, and this would this would go great with that. But I'm still skipping this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Pass. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, pass on it for now. Pass on it for now. Frank, we're passing. Um, and then hold on. Let me just double check. I have the the right info on that. Um, <clears throat> the two pack, the, the giant man was is a Hasbro exclusive, okay. and the uh scar is fan channel Pulse PBTS and Internet okay. Earth. Okay, with with no uh, they haven't announced when it will be going up just yet, so um, we will see about that. Uh, what about Luke and what about Luke and Danny everywhere? Oh, oh Luke and Danny, sorry about that, Luke and Danny. Um, uh, they go for pre-order uh, noon central, so ten o'clock. Yeah, uh, ten o'clock on the uh, the West Coast on the twenty third. Twenty third. Twenty third, and that will be mainline. So it'll be in all stores. Yeah. So that's not that bad yet. Twenty third. That's what I said, Jeremy. Right? I just make sure I said that right. Twenty um, third or twenty fifth. Twenty third. Okay. Two three. There you go. Um, yes, pre order on April 23rd on Pulse. All right, and Ghost Rider is on the 30th. Yes, Ghost Rider all day. Yeah, all day, baby. This Superior Spider Man is, is out for pre order right now, and I went ahead and pre ordered it because A, uh, Dan Slot's Superior Spider Man was amazing. I love that arc. And uh, look at this figure, auto. Like, it's, for like two minutes, Amazon had it for twenty four ninety nine. So if you were able to grab it, congrats! Got it. Look. Got it. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave story like so on Amazon for twenty five, twenty five. I'm like, and eh, going to Amazon now. There we go. Got it. Oh uh, yeah, this was already up. Uh, it's amazing, and yeah, I love my Spider Man's and uh, yeah, great, great storyline. Warbird, she goes up. Uh, they haven't announced the date. It is a Target exclusive, and I will be getting her because I love this version of Carol Danvers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are reading New Avengers or anything like that Bendis was doing on Marvel, like yep. this was the look for Miss Marvel um, back in the early aughts. So yeah, you're, if you're making your New Avengers, mm -hmm. like you're gonna you're gonna want this. So does she come with a few head sculpts like uh, Target's Black Widow did? Two, yes. two head sculpts. Yes. Nice. The big yeah. fat mask and like the real skinny trimmed down mask looking with a different hair swoosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right there and right there. Yeah. Uh, I'll also, stick with my curvy one that I still have from way back three pack. All right. Calm down there, Moody. Um, kidding, Travis. When you watch this again. Um, yeah, this, this, I mean, it just like, yeah, and you can see, you can see the, the, the mask difference right there too. A lot yep. better. There, yeah, yep. Um, let's see, Ryan, I like the thicker mask. Fair. I like the skinnier mask. Um, I don't know why it just, I like the thicker figure. <laughs> she was a curvy fig, man. She was a, I still have her. By your bedside. Um, shut up, no tunnel. <laughs> right next to Scarlet. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'll, I'll get, I'll get her. Um, I'll get her. Uh, at Target, I, I don't feel the need to pre-order her. Um, okay. we got this. Uh, the two pack, which is amazing. God damn it, I did pre-order him. Astonishing. I, I pre-ordered. Because I already have, I have Astonishing Cyclops and that Astonishing White Queen, and I loved, I have, I sold off most of my run of Astonishing Action, but I still have, like, that initial 10 and then the, the finale. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, look at that. It yeah, looks like... Just rough to cover. Yeah. yeah. Love this. 
Uh, Judge, you know, dude, I, I hate two packs with a passion, a flaming goddamn passion. I hate two packs. I hate three packs even more. I think they're a complete literally, no, like maybe I don't want the other figure, but fuck, I have to buy two. I have to get this to get the. I hate it. I hate they're it. hostage packs. Hostage yeah. packs. That's yeah, what they are. They are, but at least the Luke and Danny is legit, though. Well, well, that, and that makes sense. What that's is it? Bing, bang, boom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you could split that two pack because I would want Luke Cage and not Iron Fist. Give me your Iron Fist. All right. Let's <laughs> <go>. <laughs> I need these. I need these two. I need. These. I don't. I need have both them. of them, anyways. So, and it's astonishing. This what he wore in astonishing. But did yep. he wear a version of it in the new Avengers too? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember the, the thigh blue on it, but yeah, he Plus, wore yeah. something like that for the yeah. new Avengers when, when, when Cap and Iron Man recruited him. Yeah, uh, we I love got that new Avengers. I know I love that Bendis new new Avengers roll and run. Such Woo! a good one. Such oh, a good by the way, hey Zin, someone's giving you a shout out, buddy. Oh me, yay! Oh. What's up, Thomas? Thank you, Thomas. That's awesome, Thomas. Oh, my. Shout out to Andrew. No, there's no lateness. Thank you for your time. Thank you for no late, uh, Drew. hanging out with us, man. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you for coming here. Good seeing you all. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, my God. Well, can, can I go back to that uh, comment? I actually remember, Thomas. Um, sure. What's, yeah. fun, what's funny is every now and then um, I'll – I've never really done these shows where you go and sell stuff before, but COVID, I'm sure a lot of people bought a whole bunch of stuff during COVID, right? Yeah. And I started to liquidate and I was like, how the heck can I do this? So I ended up going to this uh, New Jersey uh, Comic-Con, it's not Comic-Con, um, the NJCC show. It's usually in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. It's a lot of fun. It's usually quarterly. Yeah. But I went there just with the intention of liquidating my stuff. And I made so many collectors happy that day because it was really just about me getting rid of my stuff. It wasn't about me making money. So I was getting rid of stuff for, for retail. Mm -hmm. So people were freaking out. And uh, I actually had a couple vendors come over and say, dude, you're underselling us. But you know that wasn't my intent. My intention was strictly just to get rid of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't even thinking of this. I don't go on eBay. I don't really check like the secondary market. Um, so I, I don't know. I got lucky with stuff. I was able to pass it on, and I'm probably going to try and get in for the the next one. So if people need stuff, you know, I got it. <laughs> All right, man. I go to Jersey. <laughs> no, okay. It does, look, I hate two packs. I hate it. I, I, I just, it, they know. But it, this makes sense. And in all honesty, I would have bought Iron Fist and Luke Cage. So, yes, fine. Fine. <laughs> Bullshit. That, Bullshit. That one makes sense. That makes sense, but fine, whatever. Um, that makes sense is Batman and Robin. Come on. Yeah. It is true. Now, um, Yes, we probably will get the Astonishing Beast, and I do want that beast really badly. Do I want the George Perez Beast? Obviously, but I think the fact that we got the Jim Lee Beast, uh, what, five years ago, and we got yep. probably gonna get Astonishing next, I think George Perez will probably push back a bit, but I think we'll get him eventually. I had gotten a head sculpt to make it look like a George Perez Beast. Where'd you get it from? Was it Beltran Brothers? I think so. Okay. Or cat. I don't know. I think it was Casting Cave. I think it probably was Beltran. All right. The one, the one, the Jim Lee looking one now is with the shut mouth. I think that's Beltran. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um. Let's see here. Just <sighs> back in the Marvel Legends group days. Yeah, I'll get this because like, I. Yeah, Joe came along. <laughs> now look at that head sculpt. Mm -hmm. That looks like the comic. Yeah. So dope. Yeah, the short, short. Here. Oh, hey, oh, no. don't tease, don't tease. Hey, Danny, catch baby, finally. Look, look at this. Look, look at this. Ghost Rider, arise a little ghost. Of <laughs> that Marvel Knights again. That Marvel Knights. 
now uh for anyone watching uh this is 50 which fair that's that's fair vehicle figure um and available 430 on april 30th you can get this dandy catch which i mean look at look, it's just <sighs> so cool. now i know they're pretty much using the same dandy catch from the uh, uh iron man <laughs> classics but who gives a shit like this is just look at look at the look at the the motorcycle like it's just the health cycle yes it looks it's great it's the 90s baby right yeah oh uh, my god yeah it's like straight out of the comic book straight yep. out the way they put it on the little fire effects the way they do in the wheelie and he's got the chain hey that that'll work man that'll I'm, work I'm just about, saying. about time yes yeah. i so, will understand Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, um, I was just gonna say uh, this is my Ghost Rider. Yeah. So I mean, I remember that glow in the dark first issue cover. I don't Our know. Guys, area. Yep. Yeah. And um, I was working in a comic book store at the time, and uh, dude, I dove right in. I learned all about you know Johnny Blaze and everything. Uh, yeah. Danny Ketch was my Ghost Rider, so yeah, it's pretty cool. But go ahead, KJ. I guess I can say real quick, this would have been perfect with the engine of vengeance. I will never understand why Marvel yeah. Legends fans cost themselves that has life. That was a weird thing to see in real yeah. time. Yeah, it, it was the dumbest thing. And like, look, if you'd given us this hell cycle with the 70s Johnny Blaze hell cycle, like I mean, I'd have been like, all right, how much? 200 yeah. for like <laughs> now that's a two pack. That's a two-pack. That's a um, two-pack. Uh, I don't know, Andrew. You're good. No, I, I have. If when I am wrong, I am wrong. I admit it freely. Thank you, buddy. Um, but look, oh, God, it's, 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 like, I, I, being married, you learn that very quickly. Um, look, look. I mean, God, it's just. It's like, yep. This, this, this spiky uh, racers, spikes on his shoulders. The gray pants, I mean, the so perfect, good, perfect damn catch. Oh, I wish I wish the bike was upscaled a little bit more, but I'm not hating and I'm loving it. So yes, uh, we do, uh, and I didn't include it because, nah, but they do have like a dial on the front because on on the on the uh, where the gas tank is, that's where Danny Catch would hit the the motorcycle and transform and. Uh, Hearts yeah. of Darkness. Remember that, KJ? Oh, let, me, let, me, let me. You remember that, Bobby? Hearts of Darkness. So oh yeah. Dan Ketch, Punisher, and Wolverine. It's it's definitely a different figure. Um, that's 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 I would that would pass for Ketch. Yeah. The, that's his outfit. Yeah. Except for the, it's got a Johnny Blaze top. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, yeah. Because if we, because yeah, because let's see here. Hold, let's see here. Probably, yep, yeah, it, uh, yeah. You're right. You're 100 right. It is different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight up, well, nice it's catch. definitely worth a read. Uh, you can get that Hearts of Darkness for like eight bucks on Amazon. But yeah. go to your local comic book shop and show yes. some support. Show some yeah. love. Show love that, yeah. It's a great book. I think it's uh, John Romita Jr. Maybe Howard Mackey. Howard Mackey, who who drew it though? Uh JRJ. Yeah. JRJ. Yeah. 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 JRJ. Now, uh they did they did also I I don't know. They did a part two as know. well, right? Uh I believe so. I don't know why they did this, but they did it kind of like like announce in like the like the header that we're also gonna be getting uh Odin and Hulkbuster. Crazy. Uh, which I, I, if if they do Odin like Jack Kirby style, whoa, I'd probably get it. And that Hulkbuster, that's just straight nineties. And I'm like, uh, I'll, I know. I'll put it with my Hall of Armor. I will. I'll put it yeah. with my Hall of Armor. God damn it. I gotta agree with Andrew. We need. We do need a Blackheart. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Just I mean, we got we got that amazing blade. Then we're gonna get yeah. Ghost Rider. I mean, what was yes. that series called in in the nineties? It had like it was Blade. It was Ghost Midnight Suns. Midnight, Midnight Suns. That's it. 
Yeah, because I remember Blackheart in there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that would yeah. be a lot of fun. Yeah. Strange. Uh, oh, God. Hold on. Midnight Suns. It was Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange Blade. Blade. Ghost Rider. It was Cat. Moon Knight in it? Was Moon Knight in it? No, not, no Moon Knight. No Moon Knight. Okay. Oh, um, Damon Hellstrom. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, love it. All right. Then we did get a hint. <laughs> and we're all thinking it might be the, the, this Hulk. I would very much like this Hulk. Don't we have it already? Or has it got to the I, mean, My, I have well, a hope like that, but the 20th anniversary, like the the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary, right? The Marvel Legends Hulk, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they were throwing that rock around, and I mean, this is that. I mean, so I what if what, what if they redid the the banner two pack Morbius. Hulk uh, in the green like this? Purple, yeah, that'd be dope, right? I need to Professor Hulk. You mean the one with the spandex? Uh, yes. Black top. Or like the, the leather spandex Tank top? Sure. Yeah, I need, I need, I need like the yeah the black spandex, the like the capri pants. Give him yeah. bunny slippers. I, I know there's love for that one, and I, I think it was a fun read in the '90s. But now, give me raging Hulk. Give me dumb down Hulk. Give me the one that fought Superman back in the 70s. You know what I mean? Are mm -hmm. you... Let's see, do I have it? The one that fought Batman back in the 70s. Sure. That was incredible. Like, what is Batman going to do here? Yeah. He is going to run. Um, are, <laughs> are you reading... Here we go. The new Incredible Hulk, Zen, by chance. Are you reading this new Hulk? I am not reading it. You... You need to read this because this Hulk is uh it's is not it it's it's banner, it's banner, okay. but basically basically what, what you had was and well we have Hulk there. Uh so Immortal Hulk showed that Hulk cannot die. Like you can tear him apart and he's gonna bring his body back together. This stays in the tradition of monster hulk. Okay. So he's fighting he's you know he's got banner in his head um but yeah it's, it's very much like no banner banner and hulk hit each other and hulk is a rampaging monster but he's protecting a girl from the mother of monsters like he's fighting monsters and like he's going full monster and it's really really good yeah that's my yeah. hulk i like that hulk yeah yeah um he is scary I, yeah he, he's he's a he hulk is smash. a he, he, he's hulk, hulk smash hulk now, this, let's see, here we go. Um, now, as much as we would like to say that we're not, we are a G.I. Joe show. Let's just be real here. Just a little bit. And G.I. Joe did drop something, which, God damn it, I got. Wreckage and Tiger Paw. What? <laughs> like, that happened? Um, look, I'll look. This is my real. This is how I feel about Tiger Force, right? Like, this is just how I feel. <laughs> this, like, Peter is Tiger Force to me. It is true. Um, it's just like I'm sorry. Like, it looks cool. It looks cool, but the pre-order was sloppy, and Emily even apologized for it. Like, Emily, like, this won't happen again. Um. But uh, and 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 Moody did made this up for me. Uh, I mean, obviously we all got it right. Oh yeah, um, like, I did. I did. Yeah. No, nope. Tony, you didn't get this. No, I'm waiting. I don't do the Tiger Force stuff. So you're like, so you you, you agree with me with that? This is Tiger Force. Yes. Straight up. Here's the thing. Do I hate Tiger Force with a passion? Yes. <laughs> I do. Except, I for, except for Rakondo. The Rakondo Tiger Force was dope. That is dope. I won't lie. But I, I'm going to I'm going to repaint this because uh -oh. I, 
I said I'm going to repaint it. It'd be like three years from now. I'm like, I finally repainted it. But <laughs> we're but, all like 57 years old. I finally painted it. <laughs> you just spray painted it black. It's better than this. Um, look, like what? What? Like, here's why I don't like Tiger Force. Like that looks amazing. The figure, the figure looks dope. The figure looks great. Like that looks that looks great. Black and brown, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool it's repainted like, Firefly. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. Um, yeah. but Thank but <laughs> but the four wheeler looks like a McDonald's ride, right? Like you're gonna like, <laughs> go back and forth on it. On, like, all, a do. all the damn Tiger Forces do. I'm just bullshit. right. Like like I'm looking, I'm looking at the Ram. I'm looking at the Ram over there that was Tiger Force, and it's just like. Like maybe if they like toned down the colors a bit to make it look more like okay, more like kind of realistic. Um, but well, who, who is going into battle? Like we're gonna be stealth. We're gonna be stealth and we'll be quiet. And here comes Tiger Force. Just like you might as well have glow sticks around your neck. Like come on, y'all. In, like, the, in the immortal words of Ryan Sweeney, it's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. I look, and here's the thing. Look, here's the here's the thing. I know it's a toy. I get that it's a toy. I'm more like, like, like just fucking play with your toys. I get it. Um, <laughs> well, wait but, a sec. Who did the pictures for this? It's shooting the galaxy, right? Yeah, usually. So. It's usually. Yeah. Dude, if anybody can sell freaking Tiger Force, it's this guy. Sure. <laughs> These I'm pictures gonna... are phenomenal. He did they a really, really nice job. I think yeah, it, 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 it. Oh, but go back to the box art real quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought that was like Zartan's lair or something. And like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Once yeah. again, like you look at it from this angle, like, oh, that's cool. And oh, you know, but then you know fun. what? It's fun. It's fun. It's it's, it's bright. Fun. It's cheery. And on the other hand, you know what? I you have to give it to Tiger Force that if you're gonna go into battle writing like that, like you got big balls. They're like, you know what? Like, yeah. like, look, look at what I'm writing. Do you not? Yeah, think he yeah. He gets off that thing. He's set. He's set for the jungle. I he's want you to see figure. me. Yeah. He's like the best Tiger Force figure, and it's just a repainted Firefly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. it's all black within the you know the the, the green Tiger stripes. Perfect. He looks great. Even I love the Tiger Force logo on his shoulder. Well, uh, the, keep it on his saber tooth on his mask. It looks badass. Yeah, I was going to say that, Tony. It's uh, <laughs> a lot of people are wondering what that was on his face. That's a throwback to the uh, to the unreleased saber tooth figure. Uh, so that's a nice little Easter egg there, right on his face. So a lot of people miss that. Um, it's fun. Listen, Tiger Force. There, it's it's a love hate type of thing, right? <laughs> Sorry, Gun Bunny. <laughs> he loves him some Tiger Force and Python Patrol, baby. Yeah, it's probably because he's probably a couple years younger than us, right? And that's what I, I, I that was what so. was on he the just, shelf. He just kills it with his with his customs. Oh my god, it makes you want Tiger Force. Gun oh, Bunny yeah. will. Well, I mean, I I love what he did with the vamp with the dreadnought. Ooh, vamp. No. ridiculous. Yeah, no. <laughs> But but Nobody still, watched. like I, I I saw this and this. Keep I mean, going over that picture. This, this, I'm sorry. <laughs> this 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 is Tiger Force. Like, <laughs> like this is Tiger Force, right? Like you got like like it's like gr it's like Grunt and Tiger Force. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like we're going in. You guys are stupid. I'm gonna be looking for you. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, like, look at what I'm writing. Do you think they're gonna be expecting me? No. Like, uh, but is that? But, but again, uh, again, like the the everything about the figure itself looks amazing, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's so, so Bobby, you touched on the uh, on the drop a little bit and how yes. that played out. What yes. did you guys all think about that? Great question. Uh, I I just saw like someone goes, "Hey, it dropped." I'm like, "Oh, cool!" Like, let me just order it, pre-order it real quick, and then I just like went back to you know dealing with shit. Um, but then KJ 
KJ, there we go. <laughs> KJ was I'll have to do it like this. Boop. Boop, boop. Um, boop, boop. Uh, KJ posted how Emily apologized for uh the 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 release, the drop. Hey, like, we're sorry. There's one friend again. So let me like and and so I I have nothing. I, I didn't really know that there was anything a problem with the drop, but. KJ, because you put that, um, what? Why was the drop so messy? Because I think Target didn't. There's probably a lack of communication where Target was just going to release this figure and the Tiger Paw. The Tiger Paw has a lot of fans with the Joe base. So when we got those pictures, they leaked. I don't know who they leaked from, but that leak at least primed people to get. Wreckage and Tiger Force and that Tiger Paw, the, the people who wanted it, right? So if that leak didn't happen, it just would have been a surprise drop. You would have found out on Preternia, on Twitter, or just yeah. in your fan chats or anything like that. We all would have missed it. But because we're all dialed in, we were all able to get it. We were usually the first ones to get any of this stuff. Yeah. But for 90% of people collecting, especially adult collectors who are working nine to fives, yeah. who are in meetings, who have to compile reports and send out emails, or you're like Tony on 24 hour shifts as a paramedic, or like there's people who missed out to this target paw. And, <laughs> I'm sorry, this- it's okay. I can just see Tony one, two, stay with what happened. Okay, just don't die on me for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> don't die on me. I haven't been to work for a while, so <laughs> okay, okay, but but that's the thing is like it's it's different when you're not in the suit, when you don't have people letting you know when yeah. things are on sale, when the prices are low. I've kind of given up on, you know, trying to be first, trying to get stuff yeah. the cheapest. It's like, I'll just get it. If it's on sale, there's a lot of things. You'd be shocked that I just don't have, right? Because I'm just, I can't keep up. I'm just, there's other things that I'm getting. So, but there's people who want a Target Paw. They don't have Target Paw. Now, like, yeah. Will it get it restocked? Snow job, restock. Cobra Valkyries, restock. Trouble Bubble, restock. Vamp, restock. But this is Target. Like it took a full year for Cobra Island to restock in 2021. Yeah. And before that, there was all numbers of people saying the restock's never going to happen, right? Because they're on the other side selling the classified series for 60, 80 bucks. They didn't want the restock to happen. Same thing with this Kingpin. Right, that kingpin is gone, and now those figs are back up to 60, 80, 100 bucks. Yep, so uh, it, yeah, yeah, I don't want to cut you off, but can somebody <laughs> highlight Jeremy's comment there? Um, I just thanked him, yeah, I would have done it. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, so, he does a great job, yeah, he does great. a phenomenal job. There's a lot of people in the community, uh, including myself, I know. I, I do a lot of sarcastic and facetious <laughs> posts. No. What? No, but within, within there, there's uh, a lot of good information. <laughs> I, I gave people information on this drop. Um, Jeremy did. There's so many people in the community that try to alert other community members. Now, the way this all played out was, KJ, you mentioned it was a leak. Usually leaks happen maybe weeks, maybe months in advance we had less than 12 hours notice it just dropped <laughs> everybody right. was like is this thing real is this a gun bunny custom you know like true 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 true, true, true. like what, yeah, what is this and I then those posts. <laughs> all of a sudden in the morning you know like there's a drop and mm-hmm. it was sloppy uh-huh. um and the worst part about it is not one of us has a freaking ferret in our hands for them to announce the freaking tiger paw i don't know if i can curse or not i normally yeah, curse yeah. all day long we, we curse all the time. they didn't fucking announce fucking shit it's like yeah <laughs> like uh the body's not even cold you know it's not, not even my hands yet. all right even so my hands I, yet. <laughs> let, me, let me jump in real quick because I was on, um, not as a featured guest, but just in the chat for Full Force Podcast. Shout out to Chris McLeod. Shout out to the homie. But I always had to argue the case is that you sell the ferret 
you get the ferrets in hand. People get them from Pulse. They get them. They have their figures with them. You got, you know, Firefly and Cobra Valkyries or whatever riding on that sucker, Storm Shadow, whatever. You take the pictures, you get the noise, boom, Tiger Paw, Target exclusive, right? Yeah. And then you do the Tiger Paw, and then more people be like, yeah, I love the ferret. Let's get this fucking Tiger Paw. Yeah. Let's, you know, <laughs> let's get the variant. Let's, like, but that didn't happen. So now it's going to be theoretical. If we have issues with the ferret, those same issues will apply to the Tiger Paw. Oh, if people are going to get the Tiger Paw before the ferret. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? And you might be right, man. No, and right. That's what Emily was apologizing for. And yeah, you know, people are blaming Emily and all this shit. She Fine. didn't need to apologize for anything. She didn't. Yeah. You know, that's not her job. That... <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> no, because the, the Joe community, there's no other way to say it. Fussy. They're fussy to the point where it's like there are other like transformers, they don't apologize for shit. You're lucky we're even making this shit. Oh, what? You missed out on the Robeson? $1,000. What? You can't afford it? Well, here's the variant. $2,000. Oh, we'll drop shit this and you'll oh, buy it. Get it. this shit or don't. Oh, what? You couldn't get Swoop? Oh, you couldn't get Swoop. Oh, oh, I don't have Devin Stater singing. Shut the fuck up. That's what Transformers <laughs> is. You're not going to get that I'm sorry okay. shit from Takara Tomy. Yeah. Like, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> Yeah, Fuck you pay me. Yeah, and when it's all over, you get the kerosene. You light yeah, a match. Some Yoda. Some Yoda like um, what's <laughs> funny? Yoda. <laughs> um, but no, it's like, and like, and I feel, I feel bad for both Emily and Dan with Marvel. I actually reached out to Dan after the this show drop, after that show drop. I'm like, dude, great show, uh, but fuck you, because my wallet is not streaming. So you know, uh. <laughs> And he thanked us for the support. But, like, whenever, yeah. she, whenever thing comes up, Emily and Dan are like, hey, sorry. Hey, sorry. Like, hey, hope you like this. Hope. And, like, great. And I get it. They they are fantastic at their job because they do the marketing, and they're fantastic at it. But a lot of the times, and I've said this before, and I'll just I'll say it again because, you know, they are not the ones in control of what shit happens. Yeah, it's almost like, it's almost like save the sorry. They're trying to give you things. They're trying to – yeah. They're breaking out with stuff. Yeah, people, let get it so, people get so mad at Emily and Dan online. It's like erratic. So I'm like, they their job is to market this. They don't push out shit. They don't no. make this. Like, stop yelling at them. I get that they are the faces that you can like talk to, but be nicer to them. Be nice. Yeah. This that pisses me off when someone's like trying to be pissed. We're a grown ass men and women. Be nice. I'll reach through this screen and strangle you like Homer Simpson. Physically, <laughs> we are grown ass people. Mentally, grown ass man. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I'm saying, man, I'm a grown ass, ass man. Hold on a second. Grown ass man. Drop, yeah, yeah, that whole drop was course. just uh, unfortunately sloppy. But you know, there's people. I love seeing some of uh, the, the guys freak out. They're like, "Yo, that yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, out of shape. Yeah, that email came to me 48 minutes after the drop. And I'm like, you're still using electronic mail from the freaking 90s as, <laughs> as your news source? Come on, I didn't get man. my facts from Hasbro Pulse about this Tiger Pop. Yeah, turn on notifications. You can turn on Jeremy's notifications. Every time you yeah. get something, your, your phone's going to ding. Now, listen. Justin, uh, thank you so much, bro. Oh, oh dude, damn, thank you. Justin, thank you. Awesome. Justin, my boy. But Speaking yeah, listen, there's other ways to get notified. And also, oh, wow. don't, like him? don't fall for, for the phone. Don't. All right. So don't yeah. don't fall for that shit. And get yourself a network of friends that are near you. If you're that worried about freaking missing out on something, oh, no. reach out. There's people in your community, man. Why do you think I say neighbors all the time? Get with your goddamn neighbors. It's true. Uh, now we know how Jeremy gets his notifications. Jeremy gets it from uh, Lawrence Fishburne from <laughs> John Wick. John Wick, <laughs> the king. Well, we got, we got Frank saying not at 6 a.m. 
I get that. But if you have the Bowery um, King, the Bowery King, yeah. If you have a network of guys, they usually have like, all right, I'll get three. You get three. I'll get three. So Everybody in your group is taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, oh god, I was gonna say something and and the jokes knocked it off. Oh well, um, oh yeah, well, uh, actually, I have to give it to Spec. Spec got me some uh, ferrets because I can get any. And Spec, you know, he's like, I ordered two. You want them? Like, I would like them. Thank you. So uh, you know, but it, again, it's like you know, when you have people who can you know do shit like that, like hey. You get this. Hey, thank you. Oh, I'm part of a huge. Oh, Stanley, you're in Seattle. Interesting. All right, Grunge Land. Nice. I love Seattle. Seattle. I had orders up there. I've been playing around with this McFarland stuff for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm up front. I love like imports, and so I have a different <laughs> team where that's how I'm able to get that stuff. Yeah, like, that's the Bandai stuff and that kind of thing. Fucking spec, dude. I couldn't make funny on the air. You're, you're tons of fun on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I better shut up. You're going to pop in here. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna pop in. What was that, Tony? What was that? Uh, I better shut up. He's going to pop in here. <laughs> I'm going to block <laughs> Tony. I'm going to block Tony on the chat before he comes. <laughs> And the neighbors, my neighbors would call the cops. Neighbors, <laughs> your mom. So, so here's the thing about you know, and I've told the story before about how I became a part of toy kind of mood during the Baroness toy hunt and all that stuff, right? And um, like when I would, whether I'm like saying sending a gift to someone because I just know they're going to love that figure. Or mm -hmm. if someone helps me out with something, they send me um, a gift where I'm like, how did you know I wanted this? Right. Yeah. Like that's that stuff makes it better. If you don't have that, you're you are missing out on a vital part of the adult collector community of, of the adult collector experience. Part of that is like I can chop it up with Tony and we can talk about how to be kept ass to dream Green Lantern figure. Right. Yeah. That's not hypothetical. Like that's pretty much how we spin our weekend. Basically, like, <laughs> shit out. yep, we'll figure that <laughs> right? shit out. Like, I have stuff to weather and mud splatter my vamp, right? Like, I haven't put it online. I kind of don't need to put it online. I just talk with my friends about that. The people yeah. who do this shit for real, who customize. Oh, like, there's a lot of stuff that's not on Black Genius Instagram because it's not, that's for me, right? Yeah. So, that's where it does help to have a genuine network of your Joe fans, your Transformer fans, your Masterpiece fans. There's more than one fandom. Amongst the Joes is more than one fandom. There are people who do not fuck with classified series. There are people who don't give a shit about O-Ring, right? There's people who's like, if it's not Hot Toys or 1-6 Scale or Sideshow, then I don't give a damn, right? So you just find you find your, your crew, find your tribe, and it'll, it, it makes it more fun. That's my advice to you. That is true. That is true. Um, before we leave, Three because kids. we're actually going to get under the hour and a half marker. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, that being said. Um, I just opened another beer. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck talking. Let's talk about bullshit. I don't give a shit. Let's, I, 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 <laughs> not like I have to go anywhere. Um, or do I? I might. I got two enablers here with me. One enabling me, the like McFarlane, another McFarlane enabler. <laughs> I almost got the Tony. whole Justice League now. Thank you, fuckers. Tony, you like this? <laughs> it's only ten bucks. It's See? only ten bucks plus thirty dollars shipping. All, all I'm saying, <laughs> I got the whole damn li lineup here. No. You need. I'm just. I just. I just told you that you needed the whole Justice League. Not. Not the whole. But like you know, you need your seven. And then, look, McFarlane is a slippery slope with the Justice League because oh, doing can, right. Is if you do it right, like all right, cool. I've got this. Okay, great. Like yeah, but Whoa. do you have Watchtower? Like mm, do you have Grant Morrison's run? Do you have Keith see, Griffin's see, run? Like, yeah. See how he. See how he does me. No. <laughs> no, but uh, I was always 
once I saw two or three, and then the Wonder Woman really did. Thank you. Thank you. The Wonder Woman really did. Thank you, Andrew. The Wonder Woman did it, especially when remember uh KJ, I had showed it and you like that, sir, is the chase. I'm like, yep, damn. And it's the superpowers colors, and I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna get them. And then for a while, to me, in my eyes, Bobby, they weren't doing Superman right. Single That's joint fair. elbow, too short, cape was wonky, no yellow shield on the back. And I'm like, right, they can't do it right. So let me get this one and that one and this one and make mine. And I, I did that. So, and it wasn't that bad. Ooh, he makes these things, man. McFarlane, kudos to him because he makes them to be kit bashed and customized because they are so easy to take apart. You know, shout out really? to Toy Games. Yes. Shout out to Toy Gains. Shout out to uh, Five POA Reviews, and uh, I think it's Bones and the Necro Zoo. I've been looking at those guys for to, to learn how to mess with these McFarland figures, and I made my perfect in my eyes Superman, you know. And then uh, for for Wonder Woman, I shortened her up. I did mess with her a little bit. I shortened her up to where she's not taller than everybody, you know. And then she's uh, an Amazon. Yes, she's an Amazon, yeah. but she ain't taller than Superman. Damn it! And 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 Manhunter is kind of taller than all of them, in my eyes. He's a shape. I, I thought Superman was shorter than Batman. Yeah. No way. No way. Batman? No. Universe. No way. Come Neither on. Man. All right. I just want to give a quick shout out to Toy Games, if I may. I just want to just point Toy people Games. to the IG. Yeah. Oh, no, by all means. Oh my gosh. Some good stuff here. Boy, James is my boy, dude. He's my go to. He's the one that started me wanting to paint. Like, you can't, I can't find the Platinum Edition Hawkman, right? He's like $90. Remember, KJ, we we're talking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so he said, get the, get the, get the regular one, the blue one, the zero hour one, right, Bobby? Yeah. And paint him. I said, well, let me, let me take a shot at it. Bing, bang, boom. It's on my Instagram. And uh, it, it, your, your 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 Hawkman came out fucking insane. Dude. It was factory fresh as always. It looks like it came from it. From Tony, when are you gonna stop fucking around and fucking make some money? Really <laughs> for real, this is all thanks to Toy Games. I said, you know what? Let me take a stab at them. And Hold on. dude, uh, this this is the zero hour Hawkman. So God, I tried dude, my that's... best. I tried my best to make them look more classic Carter Hall because yeah. the platinum edition is not going to happen. It's like eighty, ninety dollars, whatever yeah, no. it is. And I mean, it's these dudes. These things are made to be customized. And another thing, uh, who did it? I think Bones Necro Zoo. You know that uh, Spawn? It's uh, no, not Spawn. I'm sorry. He made the uh, Batman who laughs with Sky Tyrant wings. Yeah. That one, those wings would look good on him. They they fit really good on him. I need yeah. to find them. They're articulated, anybody, right? If anybody knows where the hell yeah. Yeah, they're, they're they're articulate and they go like, you know, really wide. So I mean, I'm having fun. Hold on, let me go. There we go. Oh, it looks so good. It looks good, man. You know, you so you I just send you, you know. dude. You need to get a portfolio together, man. Get some money from this. You yeah. should do Instagram. It's, it's, it was a, it was a ton of fun making him. And what did I do? Uh, the Batman was damn near perfect. Aquaman, just to mess around with him, you know the the defenders of the earth that they're always on pegs in the collector mm -hmm. spot and target. I got the Flash Gordon. That Flash Gordon head looks so good on Aquaman. And and there was nothing wrong with using the Barry Allen head. Right, Bobby. You know how you put yeah, yeah. that on him. That looks good. But now, yeah. since I got the Flash. Um, Gordon head on Aquaman, I can put you know the unmasked head on Barry and you know make him look, have him look like that. And then the the cool thing is with that new Batman coming out, uh, they got an unmasked Bruce Wayne head, and yeah. uh, five POA showed that it fits perfectly on that Nightfall Batman. God damn it! There you go. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to spend money. You don't have to spend money when I'm when I'm hanging out with Tony. I just imagine the money I'm going to spend. <laughs> I don't actually spend the money. Well, you, right. you know what's wild about Tony? 
Tony's a guy that actually plays with his toys. Actually, I wish I would have looked look at that. That's Flash Gordon hand, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's from NECA, right? Yeah. Yes. And and it and, and, and you definitely like, put, put, put it closer. Put it closer. Put it closer. Damn it! It did. It was doing it with the with the hawk man. Hold on. Well, you can see kind of there. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Here, I'll just yeah. So Tony, real real quick, um, you didn't have to like Dremel or you didn't have to like put any like uh blue sticky stuff in the neck. It fits on perfectly. No, I I it it fits, but it it go, it's like the neck stops. And then the the his his head starts. So I had to get I had to get the old Dremel out, Dremel a little bit, Dremel a little uh, point in there. So his barbell here, look, see yeah. that? See, I I had to Dremel the, the crap out of it. And oh, see that little? Right. I Dremeled it so the the neck will go in, and then that little oh, barbell will go in that little hole and, that I had to make. You know what I mean? So then yeah. And when you Dremel, show it one more time. So like when you Dremel, you gotta be real careful, right? You gotta go you don't slow. Go the top of his dome, yeah. Exactly. You want to be real <laughs> gentle, right? It doesn't take much. You know, be gentle. Take your time, right? Be gentle. Be, be gentle. gentle. It's, it's more be fun gentle. that way. It's more pleasurable that way. So you can have more yeah. fun, right? And then you end up. No, with it's a, true. Then, I mean, and then, it's... You a, and then you end up with a real handsome Arthur Curry. Yeah, I mean, just focus on just the tip, and you're fine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's it, baby. You don't want to Just go out the tech. You don't want to blast it back out. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's horrendous. Mm, but it's funny. Um, yeah, Frank is right. Frank, Frank is right. The skin tone. Yeah, the skin tone on uh, on on Flash. You can't see on camera, but he is a little more paler than the neck. But it's not that. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad at all. That's I mean, I, all. I could paint the neck to match, or I could paint his face to match the neck, but it, it looks it looks good enough as it is. But yeah, some I people are stealers for that, and I thought I was one of them, but it's not that bad. No, I mean, especially it's in your collection. It's on your shelf. Yeah. You know what I mean? yes. And then when you're sharing it on Instagram – you adjust the lighting, it's fine, man. I think it, yeah. you, you nailed that. Hey, Tony, real quick, got a good question for you. Uh, yeah. Is it better to use a Dremel or a drill, or is, there, or is there a difference? I tend to use, I do have a drill, but for 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 this, how do I say it? For <laughs> uh, action figure work and all that stuff, the Dremel is the business. You know, it's it's powerful. I don't I don't get the rechargeable battery. I don't want to mess with recharge. Oh, I can't drum when I can't work because I got to charge the battery. Just get the corded one, put it in your like a pencil, and you can you can you can go at it. You know, nonstop. You know, different speeds. This Dremel is awesome. That's what I use for all my drumming needs. So that's that's it. So you can you you can get away with using the drill. And judge, out. but uh, in and out easy. Oh, that shit. No. Oh, and for uh, your girl, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> but uh, I had to. I had to. Home girl was super tall, and then her white, the feet. See how the white lines touch now? There's no gap from her boot to the ankle so what i did was dremel the hole a little bit bigger in her legs so the joint goes way go goes higher in there so once it's in there you you get the white line that continues and there's no break in it and doesn't look nasty look nasty and then and then she's a little shorter then she's like now she's the same height as batman and superman that's where I usually like to have her at. So that's 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 a badass figure. I mean, wow. But it yeah, I think that, and that and that is all due to toy gains. He showed me how to do that. Nice, nice. 
Yeah, I still have I still have to open up my Wonder Woman. I haven't unboxed her yet. I've got let's see, can you like just I have like boxes over here I just haven't touched. Yeah. Um right. But uh okay. Is there anything else y'all y'all want to get off y'all's chest about figures for the next I don't know? I Bobby, I just want to show you some love, man. You're my bro and I love you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate that. Um so before before we end the the show tonight, um, I wanted to thank y'all. Uh, it it's been a challenging uh, few weeks for me. Um, to the people in the comments section, not to bring this down up down, but listen, if you feel you have something wrong with your body, be an agent of your for yourself, and get checked out. I will leave it. At, I will leave it at that. Um, thank you, Spec. Um. If you feel that there is something wrong with you, um, don't don't let the doctor just say, oh, you're fine. For the love of Christ, if you feel there's something wrong with you, um, please get checked out. Uh, there is a really uh, an, uh, environmental is pretty much this uh, increase of, of cancer in men are uh, people are our age and younger. It's going to the younger uh, generation as well. Uh, so part of uh, Talking Mood is the fact that we do love you all, and so we do want you to be healthy and safe. So, yes, Spec, advocate for yourself. If you feel any pain, please, please go get checked out. Um, because doctors, as trained as they are, they are trained to hear horses, even if they're zebras. If they mm -hmm. think it's something, fuck you, no, I feel pain. Check me out. Yep. Yes. Um, Closed mouths don't get fed. You got to go tell them. They're waiting for you to say something. Well, that's not right. Okay, well let's let's run this test. Let's run that run exactly. that test. Me and Bobby both lost brothers this past yeah. weekend. You know, yeah. so it's like and, and that that big C word. Man, yeah. check yourselves out. I'm one of them. I have to go get checked. I have to, you know, just 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 keep on going because it's yeah. like you said, it's getting more prevalent in guys our age yeah. and younger. And and it it's it's scary. And I was talking to to Zen and, and Tony about this before. Um, the fact that it it's not health, it's not uh, genetics anymore. It's environmental. So please just just make sure to advocate for yourself. Um, we had a talk in a mood. As much as we love, you know, giving everyone shit on here and in the comment section, uh, we do love you all. Um, so I'm going to leave it, uh, war chest. I am so fucking sorry for your loss. Sorry, um, uh, so we're going to leave it at that. Um, you can find Baldy at Baldy Locks for reviews. Uh, you can find cake. Got it. There we go. KJ <laughs> at Black Genghis on Instagram. You can find Tony at Tony's figs, uh, on Instagram. Um, YouTube and YouTube and you, Black Genghis will be bringing uh bringing his YouTube channel. When do you go? When do you you didn't you? Say I go live you, every other Thursday, live at five. There and, we go. Uh, sometimes I have guests, sometimes I don't, but I'm also balancing it because I'm working my ass off, and also um just having just having a lot of fun. This is up next. Tony showed me how to cut it from the bottom so I can still put it back on the card, nice and fresh. So and then I'm gonna start releasing the videos. On YouTube, but no, really, I just got love for y'all. Love to people in in the chat. Yeah. Um, take care of yourselves. Like my dude said, listen to your body. Be an advocate. Yes. Don't just sit in pain. Yeah. There's nothing stoic about that. Stay healthy. No. If you gotta take a pause in collecting because you have adults to take care of, do it. Come back strong. Be happy. We want you to be happy. Yeah. Exactly. That, um, got it. That's great great advice. Advice. Want you to be here. Yeah. We 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 do we do love you all in the comments and um, I mean that's usually how we end up being becoming friends. Uh, I had I had I had a spec. You can find my toy optics. There we go. Spec was a fan in the channel, and then we actually became friends in real life. Although I think Tony and Spec are more frenemies. They are those like <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Tony's like, wait, no, I didn't say that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, all right, uh, oh, oh. gentlemen. Uh, for a toy kind of mood, I'm your co-host. Hey, hey, Bobby, can I stop you for one second? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Most, Yeah. AJ, uh, 
I also got that spider. Nice. I got you. So listen, um, I just want to show you uh, just a really quick method. You were talking about making sure you can get it off clean. Yeah. So there's a really easy method if you just um, just don't care. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Yes. So if you just, I love it. I freaking love it. I mean, it's trash. Every second. No. <laughs> So there you go. I, I mean, he that's comes where the right boxes out. go in the garbage. And there you go. I mean, just have some fun with it. <laughs> that pops right off. We can see if this, uh, well, I think I probably have to boil and pop to get this piece off. But um, yeah, yeah, they, they come right out, man. I mean, it's nice they and come easy. Right out that bitch. Thanks, man. I need <laughs> 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 Woo, we made the hairs of the back of his neck stand up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I was expecting Baldy like do like the really nice like appeal, and he's like <sighs> for a second I thought he did my trick and like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. It's a great Have fun one. with your toys, guys. I think we're wrapping up. Have fun with your toys. Uh, all right, y'all. Uh for Bobby, uh from for Torque Movie, you can find me at uh, at Torque Movie Reviews on TikTok. Uh, of course, you can find us on all socials, um, except for Facebook for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're on Facebook. Are we on Facebook? No, I deleted the Facebook group because I got mad. So I deleted Fair. it. Shit. Sorry. Fair. I don't know. Fair. Fair. But we are we are on Instagram, and we actually do check our messages quite a bit. Um, okay. Uh, for, for, for Zen, KJ, and uh, Tony, I'm Bobby. This is Toy Kind of Mood. We will see you always. In the tour aisle. See you guys. Peace.